Welcome to the one year review for the world's lightest and cheapest pallet fork frame. A lot of you have expressed that I made this thing too weak, but, but I haven't had to reinforce this thing not even once, and I've been abusing it for a whole year. You're gonna see all kinds of videos of me using this forklift. I'm not usually one to gloat much, but <laughs> I challenge any of you to be able to lift more than I can with my ultralight pallet fork with a one series stock tractor. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> it's just a joke. It's just a joke. I'm not that way. So we're gonna make this video pretty quick. I'm gonna show you what kind of weights this thing's been handling. Uh, with some true tests with some 60 pound concrete bags. For those of y'all who don't know why I made this, a one series tractor can only lift like a max of 1100 pounds and that's only so far up. So the heavier you make the pallet fork frame, the less weight this little tractor can lift. Most of the options for a John Deere quick attach are gonna have you up to a series three frame which is going to be 80 pounds heavier than this and that's going to take away from my lifting capability so there's the why we'll take a look and see the condition of this thing so you can see for yourself we're going to see how much this can lift to max flat height to optimal lift height which would be the back of a pickup and how much we can lift to just get it off the ground to be able to move stuff around i'm going to use a two 60 pound bag width as our out distance. Current flat lift height for max height on this is about 64 and a half inches. This pallet is 50 pounds and we have nine bags so that's going to put us at 590 pounds full height. We were able to get that one more 60 pound bag on there by moving it to the back. Now we're at 650 pounds full height for a single row of concrete bags. This next weight is one I consider to be the most crucial that you would need a forklift for to get it in the back of a pickup or on a flatbed truck. My truck's current measurement empty is 36 inches in height. I have 13 bags plus the 50 pound pallet. So that is about 830 pounds of evenly distributed concrete that I'm able to get into the back of my truck at over 36 inches high. Let's see how much we can put on there by stacking it up by the front. Going in single file, I was able to get 14 bags plus the pallet. That's 890 pounds in the back of the truck. Let's see if I can get 1,010 pounds with the 10 series into the back of a pickup. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's see how much we can even get off the ground in order to move a pallet around just a little bit. Okay, so this is 1,330 pounds. We're gonna need some more weight. So I'm gonna say 1,480 pounds. I could scoot this around my shop and not have to go get some kind of a dolly or any kind of help. So I use two inch receiver holes to be able to mount these. I have a middle receiver to be able to use this as a pry to use a hitch or to use a boom as you've seen in my lifting videos. This is John Deere Quick Attach. Try to do this with the big boys pallet fork frame. So our weakest point that I thought that I'd be rebracing again was this, but where the metal's doubled is good. This is holding really good, but after a year it is starting to take some damage. I probably will eventually end up upgrading this to quarter inch pipe. If you want to see how this was built, go check out our build video last year and see what we've been doing with this all year long. I'll keep this short. We'll see you on the next video. We've made our little tractor even stronger. Just kidding. These are empty.